You ever put on a beautiful gel polish and realize it does not go well with your skin tone and you want to remove it without using acetone? Please continue to watch this video and you'll see how quickly and fast. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is yes doll and another born pretty video. Today they sent me over a magic gel remover. Like the box is beautiful, it's gorgeous. It always has the ingredients and everything that they use just in case you could be allergic to something. They don't want to be liable, as far as I know, liable for your allergic reaction. So always pay attention to everything that they have on a box. The expiration date is three years. Mostly all of their products that I've received has three years expiration. And this is a general box on how to apply their gel polish and the directions on how to cure it. It's securely packaged, it's tightly packaged, and it's just overall a beautiful box. So let's get into actually opening the box up. So as you can see, there's like an opening where you can actually see what the bottle is. You can touch it and they have this tab right here where you can pop it open very easy without ripping the box. I rip a lot of my boxes trying to pop them open because I'm trying to stick my fat old thumb in there and pull it out. And so here, as you can see, it is Born Pretty Functional Gel. It does not say Magic Gel Remover. It says it at the top on the handle of the bottom, Magic Gel Remover, and it has a green tab and it has the directions on the back. It has a warning on the back. And once you open it up, you're going to see this thick consistency, which is what is going to actually eat away that gel polish that is on your nails. And one thing that I love about, one of the things I love about Born Pretty is that when they do have bottles that look alike, they have the labels in different colors on the lid. That way you don't grab the wrong thing. The consistency of this is very thick. That way you can lay it on thick and it can actually remove the gel polish. Now I am going to show you guys how I apply my gel polish with two with the base coat, Born's Pretty base coat, two two layers of uh, one of their Caramel Cocoa Collection gel polishes, and then their Super Top Coat. And my representative did send me over a TikTok video showing you exactly how to use this product because it did not come with directions. It did not. So she sent me over a TikTok video so I can see exactly how I use it, and I'm going to share that video with you guys right now. As you can see, it lets you know you file off the top coat completely. You apply a peel off latex, okay? Then you're going to apply a thick layer of the Magic Gel Remover. Make sure it's thick. Then you're going to wait three to five minutes for it to burst. You can actually literally see this stuff actually starts to peel off. And then you just scrape off very easily, wipe it clean, and use kind of cuticle oil. And then wham, bam. So this is me. I have the two layers of um, gel on the base coat and the top coat. Now this top coat, y'all, it ain't easy to file off with no hand file. I'm not even going to lie. Like this stuff, it, it's strong, okay? It's scratch resistant. It's long lasting. Like it's not easy just to remove with the hand file, especially after freshly doing your nails. So I went in with my e-file and I removed that um, top coat oh, um, off of the gel polish. So the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to clean it off with an alcohol wipe just to get rid of all of the excess dust and to make sure there is no shine on my nails. Then I'm going to go in with my liquid latex. Now, I did ask my representative, do you need that? And she said yes, because it does get warm. So you do not want to burn your skin or get your skin to warm up in any type of way. Make sure you lay this stuff on thick. Lay it on thick, 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 because... If you have one layer on, I'm pretty sure you could just brush it on. But since I had two layers of the gel polish and the base coat that I was trying to remove, you have to lay it on thick. And literally almost instantly, once you apply this gel, this, um, I'm sorry, this magic gel remover to the polish, it starts to eat away at it and you will see that. And so I'm going to just go through, apply this um, to all of my nails and see how quickly it starts to remove like as soon as I actually flip my hand over, you will see that some of it starts to bubble it up and it's eating away at it or like within seconds. So here it is. Like th there it goes. It's starting to eat away at it. And I'm going to let you guys actually witness it starts to remove. Now, one thing I did want to say that I did try this on an acrylic nail, a poly gel nail, a um, press on nail and my natural nail. It ate away at that uh, 
the press on. So do not attempt to use this on a press on nail whatsoever. It literally ate away at it and it peeled away from my natural nail. It did work on poly gel. It absolutely did. I will insert a picture. It um, got most of it off. I did not apply a thick layer. I did apply a thin layer and it did remove most of it. And then also with the acrylic, it made it kind of like gummy. Like as if you used, um, what is it like? A odorless monomer, how sticky and gummy it gets. Now here, I only waited three minutes and I tried to scrape it off just to see if it's, you know, it says three to five minutes. So I did the soonest time possible, which was three minutes and it did not remove all of it. So I will go back and apply some later. Now, by the time I scraped that off, it had been five minutes for this nail right here. So I go in and I scrape it off and it was kind of like shocking at how well it was, I was able to remove it. And then the plus side, the plus about this, you don't have to soak your nails in acetone and get your skin like crazy dry. Like y'all know how acetone eats away and then it messes up your cuticles. Like it does all types of horrible things to your skin if you soak it for too long. My ring finger, I am going to show that in real time so you guys can actually see. So by the time I finished scraping the remover off of this finger, it was sitting on my ring finger probably for about like six and a half minutes, I want to say. And look, look at that. Like it just, it, it came straight off. And this took probably about 40 seconds to scrape. Like I said, my ring finger, this is in real time. It took probably about 40 seconds for this to actually scrape off of my nail. And like I said, this one probably was soaking off for probably about six and a half minutes. And I feel like letting it soak for six plus minutes, if you don't want to like kind of like scrape away at your nail, will be the best option. Yes, they say three to five, but I guess it depends on the type of gel polish you use. I use theirs, which is a great coverage. And I use one, they're, they're like darker colors just as well. And I used their base coat and this removed the base coat also. And by the time I got to the pinky, like look at that, it probably was sitting on there for about seven, a little over seven minutes and I was able just to scrape that straight off. If you're using a different company or if you use one layer because you know it has full coverage, then you probably can do three to five minutes. But the fact that I had their actual base coat and two layers of one of their darker colors, it, you know, six minutes is probably best, at least six minutes. So then I tried to scrape it off again and it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, let me just apply some, another thick layer and see um, how well it scrapes it off because I probably just didn't leave it on there long enough. So once you go to the Amazon, I will have the link in the description box below. Once you go to their Amazon storefront, you will see this. It is a great product. It lets you know how to apply it, how long it takes. It's fast, it's no damage. And it lets you know all of the ingredients and you just scrape it right off. You don't have to soak with little aluminum foil things with the acetone touching your skin. I learned from getting nails by Jen that sometimes you can get allergic reaction for soaking your hands too long in acetone. That's from what I remember. Go watch her video and you can hear everything. She's licensed, not me. So as you can see, this product is 15 milliliters and it is only $7.99. $7.99 and it does not harm your skin. It does not damage your nails. So now I waited another three minutes and I just decided to scrape half of the nail off just so you can see how easily it removes if you have to do uh, like reapply more. After waiting three minutes, how easy it starts to come off. And then I'm going to soak the other half for another two minutes and let you guys see how easy that comes off just as well. This product is actually really, really great. And like I said, it works really well for your natural nail. I think it's made for your natural nails, actually. But it did work removing gel off of poly gel. Two layers off of poly gel. Acrylic, it made it gummy. And a press-on, just don't do it at all. So here you're able to see after five minutes, it scrapes off very, very easy. And after I did that, I wiped everything off clean with an alcohol wipe. And they also let you know to apply a cuticle oil. You can wash your hands if you like at this point instead of using the alcohol apply that cuticle oil, rub everything in. And I'm telling you, darling, this product has your nails looking great, like you never had polish on them. So I want to thank Born Pretty for sending me over this great product. You guys have to try this, especially if you do like manicures on your natural nails. It works really, really well. I love you guys. And thank you so much, darling. If you like what you saw in today's video, hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, darling.